Hey there, sports fans. Welcome back to Platinum Cappers, where we've got the scoop on all things sports betting. This Sunday, we've got a March Madness showdown that's bound to get your heart racing. The Colorado Buffaloes are going head to head with the Marquette Golden Eagles, and this round two battle is one you won't want to miss. Set your clocks for a 12.10 p.m. Eastern Time tip-off at Gamebridge Fieldhouse, and remember, CBS has got the live coverage for you. Let's talk about what's on the line here. The Buffaloes, with their 26-10 record, have been lighting up the scoreboard this season, averaging a hefty 78.7 points per game and boasting a field goal percentage of 49%. Their rebounding and defensive plays have been nothing short of impressive. However, those 12.7 turnovers per game could be their Achilles heel against the Golden Eagles. Speaking of which, the Marquette Golden Eagles, standing at 26-9, aren't too far behind, scoring an average of 78.3 points per game. With a solid 47.8% shooting from the field and a notable 35.8% from beyond the arc, they're a threat from long range. Their defense is on point two, with 8.6 steals and 3.2 blocks per game, setting the stage for a nail-biter of a contest. Now, the spotlight's on two key players, K.J. Simpson from Colorado and Cam Jones from Marquette. Simpson's been a dynamo for the Buffaloes, putting up an average of 19.6 points per game with a shooting accuracy that's through the roof. Jones, on the other hand, is Marquette's ace, with an impressive 16.8 points per game and deadly accuracy from the three-point line. This game's about more than just team stats. It's a battle of wills between two of the best guards in college basketball right now. Their head-to-head -head performance could very well dictate the pace and outcome of this highly anticipated matchup. As for the betting odds, they're leaning towards the Marquette Golden Eagles as the favorites. But with a game this close, anything could happen. The point spread and total odds suggest we're in for a competitive and high-scoring affair. Considering everything from the Buffalo's offensive power to the Golden Eagles' defensive prowess and three-point shooting, our prediction leans towards a Marquette victory, but just by a whisker. It's going to be a close one, folks, with an expected final score of Marquette Golden Eagles 76, Colorado Buffaloes 74. Thanks for joining us here at Platinum Cappers. Whether you're placing bets or just here for the thrill of the game, we've got you covered with expert predictions and top-notch sports betting advice. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insights on all your favorite games. Enjoy the match, and may the best team win. See you next time. Hey everyone, welcome back to Platinum Cappers. We've got an exciting NCAA men's basketball matchup to dive into. The James Madison Dukes are facing off against the storied Duke Blue Devils this Sunday. Both teams have had standout seasons, with the Dukes at an impressive 32-3 record and the Blue Devils not far behind at 25-8. As they prepare to clash in round two of March Madness, this game is not just a battle of basketball prowess but also a highlight for betters and fans alike. This season, the Dukes have been tearing up the court, boasting an average of 84.4 points per game and shooting 48% from the field. Their offense is led by standout players like Terrence Edwards Jr., who has been a force with an average of 17.4 points per game. But it's not just their offense that's been dominant. Their defense has been swiping the ball an average of nine times per game, making them a tough team to beat. On the other side, the Duke Blue Devils have also been showing their strength, scoring an average of 79.8 points per game and showcasing a solid 48.2% field goal percentage. Led by the likes of Kyle Filipowski, who's been a powerhouse with an average of 17.1 points and 8.2 rebounds per game, the Blue Devils have a balanced and lethal approach to both offense and defense. This matchup is going to be a showdown between Terrence Edwards Jr. and Kyle Filipowski, two players who have been instrumental in their team's success this season. Edwards Jr.'s versatility and Filipowski's dominance in the paint could very well decide the outcome of this highly anticipated game. The betting odds are leaning towards the Duke Blue Devils as favorites, but with a game this closely matched, anything can happen. The total set at 148.5 points suggests we're in for a high-scoring affair, which aligns perfectly with both teams' offensive capabilities. After analyzing the trends and performances, this game promises to be a nail-biter. 
The Dukes have been unstoppable lately, but the Blue Devils' experience and tactical gameplay make them formidable opponents. Our prediction? It's going to be close, but we're leaning towards a Duke Blue Devils win, with a final score of 78 to 74. Thank you for tuning in to Platinum Cappers for your sports betting insights. Whether you're placing bets or just here for the love of the game, we've got you covered with expert advice and in-depth analyses. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more picks and predictions. Good luck, and enjoy the game! Hello and welcome back to Platinum Cappers. We're gearing up for an electrifying round 2 matchup in the NCAA men's basketball tournament this Sunday, where the Utah State Aggies, boasting a solid 28-6 record, take on the formidable Purdue Boilermakers, who have an impressive 30-4 record for the season. This game, set to tip off at 2.40 p.m. Eastern Time at Gamebridge Fieldhouse, is not just a test of basketball prowess. It's a battle that has captivated fans and bettors alike, promising high stakes and even higher excitement. The Aggies come into this game with a potent offense, averaging 79.8 points per game on a 49.3% shooting from the field. They're a force on the boards too, grabbing 36.3 rebounds per game. Their ability to score efficiently and dominate the paint has been key to their success. However, their 33.1% shooting from beyond the arc and a 71.5% free throw shooting rate highlight areas where the Boilermakers might exploit. Speaking of the Boilermakers, they're not just any opponent. Averaging 83.4 points per game with a 48.8% shooting accuracy from the field, and a particularly impressive 40.8% from three-point land, Purdue is a powerhouse. Their rebounding game is slightly better than Utah State's, pulling down 40.4 boards per game. This matchup is set to be a showdown of offensive titans, with Purdue's well-rounded attack posing a significant challenge to the Aggies. The spotlight will be on two key players, Great Asobor from Utah State and Purdue's towering center, Zach Eady. Asobor, with his 18 PPG and 9.2 rebounds, has been instrumental for the Aggies, showcasing his efficiency and versatility on the court. Eady, on the other hand, is a force to be reckoned with, averaging 24.4 points and 11.7 rebounds per game, making him a central figure in Purdue's offensive and defensive strategies. As for betting trends, both teams come into this game with a strong recent record but have shown vulnerabilities against the spread. The odds are leaning significantly towards Purdue, reflecting their stellar season performance and offensive depth. However, Utah State's competitive spirit and ability to keep games close should not be underestimated, especially with the plus 10.5 spread potentially offering value to betters. In conclusion, while Purdue is expected to secure a victory, Thanks to their balanced offensive threat and rebounding strength, Utah State's resilience and offensive efficiency suggest that they could cover the spread. For those betting on the total points, the over could be a wise choice, given the offensive capabilities of both teams. Thank you for tuning in to Platinum Cappers for your NCAA tournament picks and predictions. Remember, no matter how you choose to bet, enjoy the game, and may the best team win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insights into your favorite games. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you next time.